I want to make this video to get at the Deontay Wilder haters because I'm sick of y'all, man. You guys happen to be the biggest fucking hypocrites on YouTube today. You guys flip-flop around. You don't even remember the shit that you say for other fighters. It's crazy, man. One minute, it's all about the business. And then the next minute, it's about making the best fights happen. You guys flip-flop back and forth between these two things depending on who the fucking fighters are. And you don't even realize that you're doing this shit. See, I remember everything that people say. Okay? I pay attention when people talk. And you guys are being hypocrites. Okay? Now, I find it strange that you want to find every reason to hate on Wilder for fighting Stavern. When this fight was forced upon him, okay? This was a mandatory. He wasn't chasing Stavern around asking for this fight. He didn't cherry pick Stavern. In fact, I don't believe he really wanted this fight. He didn't want to fight him again. And we didn't want to see this shit again. But it had to happen. This was a let's get this guy out the way fight. So that he can shut the fuck up. And go on about his business. That's what that shit was about. And he said, you know what? I'm going to get this guy out of here early. Folds him over his fucking legs. And you guys come on YouTube and find every reason to hate on Wilder. And act like he cherry picked. Remains to Vern. Who the fuck is calling me right now? No, I got to call you back. So, um, another thing, and, and here's why you guys are hypocrites. Because while you're trying to say that, hey, Stavern ain't fought in a while, this victory don't really mean anything because he's been inactive for a while. But yet the same guys, and I want everybody to pay attention, the same guys are campaigning for Tyson fucking Fury, the most irrelevant fucking heavyweight right now, Okay. You guys are campaigning for him to fight AJ. Tyson Fury hasn't fought since November of 2015. So by the time he fights AJ, it will be something like two and a half years since he fought, probably. Close to two and a half years. That's perfectly acceptable. And I bet you if AJ beats Tyson Fury, you're going to praise him to the high heavens. Watch. Watch what I tell you. Okay? When Tyson Fury ain't fought in two years, the last time we saw him... He fought Vladimir Klitschko in the shittiest, sloppiest, most boring fucking heavyweight fight that I can remember. Okay? Let's not forget that. That was a shit fight. Good names in the ring. Shit fight. There was zero technique from any of them guys in the ring that night. Okay? So Vlad, he was already fucking shot. Clearly, when he fought Tyson Fury... AJ goes in there, fights Klitschko after coming off that loss, gets knocked on his ass, gets up like a champion. I'm not trying to discredit him. Gets up like a champion, knocks his man out. But people talk like it's the greatest fucking thing that ever happened in heavyweight history. Okay? Klitschko was already shot before he even fought AJ. He was shot before he got in the ring with Tyson Fury. But you guys are talking like it's the greatest thing that we've ever seen when AJ beat him. Okay? And Tyson Fury, he ain't done shit since that fucking fight. But hang out at fucking Carl's Jr. and order fucking $6 burgers and shit. Okay? Getting himself over 300 pounds, getting stripped of his fucking titles, disappearing completely off the fucking scene. And now he wants to pop back up and you guys are campaigning for that shit. Okay, and you're you're placing him ahead of Wilder, a guy who just folded somebody over their legs. Just last night, recently, he's active. And you're saying I'm seeing people saying that Tyson Fury is more deserving of the fight with AJ. And you guys start talking about business and shit and you guys put AJ on this pedestal. You think he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. He's the man, right? He's supposed to be the man. But yet, when Wilder calls him out, you guys say, oh, well, he's just begging for a payday. He's just jealous. Shut the fuck up. I'm so sick of hearing that shit. If he's the man, if you say that Wilder is a cherry picker and he's not fighting the fights that he needs to fight, why are you calling him jealous and a hater and getting all in your feelings when he calls out your precious beloved AJ? I don't get it. I thought the problem was 
you think that he's a cherry picker and he's not fighting the fights that you want to see him fight. I thought that's what the issue was. But obviously it's not, right? Because the man can't even call anybody out. He's jealous for calling a fighter out. When did this start, man? When did this start? Man, I'm telling you, this social media shit, man. Can you imagine if Muhammad Ali was in this era, man, he'd be he'd be getting called jealous every fucking day because Ali liked to call fighters out. He liked to talk shit. He was an American fighter. OK. People would, would, would hate fucking Muhammad Ali because that dude called everybody out, got all in their face. You guys would be talking about he's begging for a payday. And he's just a jealous fucking hater. It's ridiculous, man. Are you guys boxing fans or not? Stop acting like AJ has to be pampered and shit. And, and, and Wilder, he needs to fucking wait for AJ to do whatever AJ wants to do first. And then he'll get back to Wilder. Wilder is a fucking champion. Okay? If you guys are so confident, why are you so afraid of this fight happening? Why are you putting all these obstacles in front of this fight? You want to know why? Because you know that when that fight happens... Wilder is going to be standing over AJ as he's laid out on the ground, gulping like a fish. Okay? That's what's going to happen. AJ gets hit with too many fucking right hands. It's his favorite damn thing to eat. Okay? Now, unless Wilder comes into the ring with his right hand tied behind his back, I don't see AJ making it. Okay? You guys want to talk about how Wilder is flawed? Yes, he is flawed. But so is fucking AJ. AJ is not the perfect fucking fighter. All right? I'm trying to like AJ, man. I've been following the guy since four fucking fights. But you guys are making it difficult, man, by praising him so much, giving him all this extra fucking praise that's unnecessary, man. He's a good fighter, but he's not the greatest thing ever. Neither is fucking Wilder. He's not the greatest thing ever either. But these are the guys that are in the heavyweight division right now. Okay? Stop being hypocrites. Stop flip-flopping around between business and best fights depending on who the damn fighter is. Because there happens to be another fighter that's also hated who made business decisions. And you guys said that that was killing boxing. You didn't care about the business for that. You didn't care about his pockets. It was all about making the best fights happen. But with AJ... Oh, no, we got to get the business right. We got to make sure, you know, that he's taking the best opportunities to make as most money as he can. Get the fuck out of here, man. You, you guys are just flip-flopping around. Like I said, I pay attention to everybody and what everybody says. And I remember what people say. You guys are flip-flopping and you're hypocrites. Point blank, period. Bomb squad, bitch.